Reading and thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. It's day two, it's Reading Hockey Club and it's the Now Pensions Hockey Men's Playoffs. It's playoff match number five and it's Southgate against Cardiff and Ewick. Both teams desperately need to win this game to have any chance of being promoted to the National Premier League. Now over to your match commentator, Nick Irvin. Next up, it was Cardiff taking on Southgate. Southgate in the red. Got off to a dream start when John Stellini slid the ball home, deflecting the ball just ahead of the Cardiff goalkeeper to give Southgate a glimmer of a chance of survival, having finished ninth in the league. Cardiff enjoyed the majority of the play, however, and an equaliser seemed certain to come, and indeed it did come from the stick of Rich Housen, deflecting the ball home there with just nine minutes remaining. Southgate thought they were back ahead, and uh, they wheeled away in celebration, but Cardiff had spotted an infringement in the circle. The umpires consulted, and the ball had clearly come off the attacker's body before going into the net, and that almost choked off. And it was Cardiff finishing strongly who pinched the winner when a good ball across deflected home by robbing Lovegrove for a 2-1 victory for Cardiff. Wallet, how does that feel? You must be very, very relieved. Ah, oh, it's just absolutely awesome. The boys have been amazing the last two years. They've Every hurdle they've uh, had to face, they've managed to get over it. And it's just been an incredible, incredible two years. And hopefully we've done enough, you know, hopefully we've done enough. How much how pleased were you with the character that they showed to come back from 1-0 down? I mean, you must have thought they'd lost it. No, no, never. I, I've never been surprised with their character because we've done that so many times the last two years. Go a goal down, come back and beat teams in the last ten minutes. It's because of their fitness and their commitment and their passion to this team, really. They just do it every 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 week. Every week, it's fantastic. What was said at half-time? Uh, <laughs> um, basically, get your bums in gear and uh, hopefully work a bit harder. And we change the formation a bit, and let's go for it. Because I didn't think they—I thought they were cracking a bit—and we, we can have a go in the last ten minutes. And finally, you're all going to be watching this next game, then eagerly anticipating. Sorry, Wimbledon, but we may may be supporting Sheffield, <laughs> especially there's a few Welsh boys there. So you know, it'd be great if they. Um, Hopefully well, you've just done Sheffield a favour, so surely they won back. <laughs> Absolutely, it'd be great for Sheffield and Cardiff because there's a lot of, uh, I mean, I don't know if you know, but the assistant coach, um, Rhys Gowman, is his son, plays at Sheffield, and his assistant coach, Cardiff, there's a few links, and there's a few links with the Welsh boys, So, and Vicky's obviously an assistant coach of the Welsh ladies, so we, we wish them all the best, and hopefully they, uh, they get there as well. So that was me speaking to Cardiff coach uh, Walid Abdu just a few moments ago. We're very happy, Walid Abdu. So Cardiff have put themselves back in with a chance of promotion, but it's going to depend a lot on the game between Sheffield, Hallam and Wimbledon. That's it from me. Thank you for logging on to Hockey TV.